center ring, ladies. Okay, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to re step back, step back. We, I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. God bless you both. Touch up. Important test for Alejandra Zamora, but also for Michaela Mayer, who wants to prove that she is world title bound and worthy. Looking to recruit the 12 and 0 as Alejandra Zamora. She's not accompanied by her husband, who's a former fighter, Hector El David El Tigre Saldivia, with a 46 and 6 record out of Argentina. But her father, Robinson Zamora, works the corner. Says, I never wanted my daughter to be a fighter, but here she is, and I support her 100%. And she's coming out throwing. You know what? That, that's weird because, you know, she's a boxer, and I'm talking about Zamora. That nature, she likes to move. She's actually attacking right now. Ooh, nice counter left there from wow. Michaela Mayer. She keeps pounding with that wow. left hook, follows up yeah. with the right, and down goes Zamora. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come here. Come here. Vete pa'ca. Vete pa'ca. This must. I'm fine, says the fighter out of Argentina. And now she's finding out that fighting Michaela Mayer is a whole different level, but she lands a nice left hook there, does Zamora, but here comes Mayer with a punishing shots. Beautiful extension with the right hand from Mayer. You know, follow, you know, right behind the jab. Look at that, beautiful. This is Michaela body work at her best. And when well. she gets a chance to pull a, a Deontay Wilder and extend that right yeah. hand and land on the tip of the glove, that's where Zamora got caught. And I love how Mayer is, you know, digging down to the body also. You know, a lot of times fighters, they forget to go down to the body. You know, she's throwing the shots up top, and then she's changing levels, going down to the body with the left hook. Kayla gets a lot of sparring with men, especially at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs, as well as Marquette. And there you see the body work from Mayer as Zamora tried to come in with the overhand right. Mayer being very patient, though. Even though she dropped her, she didn't just go after her. She wants to be methodical in the way she breaks down the more. That's what it's about. That is exactly what boxing is about, being methodical, thinking, and placing your shots. And that's what Mayer is doing at the moment. Zamora finishes the first round on her feet after being on the canvas, thanks to a vicious combination from Michaela Mayer. Listen, this isn't this isn't Samora's game. She's a mover. She's a boxer at heart. She's standing against the ropes. And guess what? Ma Michaela Mayer is just teeing off with shots. Beautiful work by Michaela. Here it is again. Beautiful looping right hand and down goes. Zamora. Beautiful left hook. Followed by overhand right by Mayer. Saw the way her legs just wobbled and went down. No, it was just a minute. Every now and then, you know, you get caught on the tempo, you lose your equilibrium. Come on, come on, daughter, let's go. You can do that, but just watch out for that right cross. Zamora, listen to me, Zamora does not belong in a firefight against a puncher like Michaela Mayer. But she talked about it in the fighter meetings. I have to make an impression. I have to come to the U.S. and prove that I belong, but not at the expense of not fighting your fight. She has to fight her fight. And there we see Michaela with perfect ex extension from the outside. You know Al Mitchell and his methodology he says yeah. sometimes coach will have me in there handicapped throwing just one hand. And then the last 10 seconds he says, unleash with both. And then I feel my power, and I see the madness, yeah. or the, you know, or, or the method behind the madness. What I like about Mayer, she's she's controlling her distance. She's not falling in after her combinations, you know, which I saw in her last fight. She did a lot, so she's definitely fixed that, and she's definitely growing in her game. That's what she wanted to do: show progression on her hands? way to a world title shot. She doesn't want to give the champion in her weight class, an opportunity to continue to duck her. So she says, I've got to look impressive tonight so that Eva Wallstrom from Finland cannot keep running away. We gotta bring her to the US, put her on a top ranked boxing card and make her give me that Stop. world Stop. title. Stop. 
Russell Moore there with the good Spanish, separating the fighters. Zamora doesn't have any punching power to keep Mayer up off of him. And that's the biggest problem right now for Zamora. Ooh, nice body yeah. shot there from Michaela Mayer. Another left hook downstairs. Now it's a right downstairs. And Zamora doing well to take those vicious body shots. Vicious body shots by Mayer. I love the way she's digging down to the body. You don't see that a lot. You don't see that often. We've seen a mean streak in Michaela Mayer this evening. Good finish there to the round from Michaela Mayer. Tonight's main event features Joette Gonzalez taking on Shakur Stevenson and our very own Mark Kriegel. Has a little something as to the connection between the Gonzalez family and Michaela Mayer. The biggest win in Michaela's career was four years ago in the Olympic trials. It was another woman's dream too though. Jahira Gonzalez, they fought three times in six days. It changed both their lives. Michaela went to Rio. Jahira had to do a little soul searching. One of the people she opened up to became her boyfriend, Shakur Stevenson. Postscript, one of Michaela's coaches, Kay Karoma, is also one of Shakur's coaches. As well as Michaela's coaches, we say, see there with the pink hoodie is Kay Karoma, a young man who handles a lot of the hard work done for Team USA Boxing. I saw him in Rio. I saw him recently at the Pan Am Games in Lima. He is devoted to seeing the development of the USA Boxing, and he really puts in all the hours with these young fighters like Michaela, Shakur, uh, Jahida, yeah. and the rest. Mayer just working so efficiently from the outside and then yeah. working inside and getting those body shots, although she gets tagged there by Zamora. Yeah, I knew I knew Michaela would be the aggressor in this fight and would have to be the aggressor because of the style of Zamora. You know, but I, I, I didn't know how she was going to do it. Right now, she's coming up behind her jab, throwing that right hand, and she's going down to the body with the left hook. She's from the Chubut region of Argentina, mm -hmm. a petroleum-rich part of the country that also produced fighters like the Matisse brothers, mm -hmm. Lucas and Walter Matisse, Jorge Locomotara Castro, Omar Narvaez. She says, I'm a warrior just like them. They had power. Yeah, but, you know, she's taking a lot of punishment right now. Zamora, you know, Mayor Stocking, trying to find a way. I'm sure she wants to knock out, but she has to set it up. Robinson Zamora talked to us about separating the father from the trainer and how difficult that was when he saw his daughter up in the ring, but how crucial it was as well when it came time to make a decision. You know, if you pay attention. Oh, good combination there for Mayer, but Zamora counters with the left hook, and here on the inside, Zamora doing well as well. Nice combination there from Zamora. She is no pushover here she is in the third round. She got tagged and dropped in round one, but she's got a ton of heart coming from Argentina. Round three comes to an end. Both fighters go to the respective corners. A smile on the face of La China Zamora. Mark Kriegel is with Shakur Stevenson. Shakur, tonight's not just a fight. There's a psychological chess match. Do you think Joette attacks or waits for you? Attack. Uh, I think that he real emotional. He real angry, and I feel like he's going to come in there and uh, be a little reckless. You think that the pre-fight buildup got to him? Yeah, I think so. I think that uh, the press conference... Uh, fight week. I can see it all in his face. He seemed real angry. How did you maintain your focus? This has been a pretty emotional lead up on all parties. I, I don't think it's been real emotional for me. Uh, I told you I've been dreaming about becoming the world champion. So uh, anything that I got to do to get there, I'm going to do it. Let's take a look at Gonzalez's weaknesses. Oh, he has a tendency in putting his hands in his pockets when he's under attack. This may look good to an inexperienced eye, but it's not. You allow your opponent to gather momentum and confidence 
you must put offense behind the defense. And you see here, no offense coming high in that defense. There's a couple of jabs, but his opponent was able to escape. Boxing is a family affair for the Zamoras. Robinson Zamora is the trainer of his daughter, Alejandra Zamora. Her husband, Hector David El Tigre Saldivia, had over 50 fights, was a seven-time Argentinian champion. And she just wants to make a name for herself here in the United States after being on the shelf for about two years due to promotional issues in her native Argentina. But Mayer, for her, Stop. it's Let all go. about putting on a performance that'll lead her to a world title next. Yeah, you know, if you put on a performance, sometimes you can scare the champions. Yeah, that's true. You know? <laughs> you know, but Mayor, she has a lot to her game. She can box from the outside. You can see she's bigger than everybody she fights. Oh, nice Great reach. And she's schooled. Big right hand that. followed by the left hook to the body. This is what drops the more in round one, one, and now she's got to hold on. Big mm. digging left hook there from Michaela Mayer, putting on a punishing performance here in round four. Zamora is taking a lot of punishment, you know, and I think that the corner should really, really think about saving Zamora from all of this punishment. She's got a ton of heart. She feels that she's a warrior in here, but tonight she seems to be outclassed by Michaela exactly. Mayer. Exactly, outclassed, Start taking all this punishment. Of... Do you think she can win Stop. the fight at this moment? I mean, looking at her, her stance right now and how she's looking, I don't know. So save her. Very tough to do. Gotta save her from herself, because fighters will go to danger. Good finish here for Michaela Mayer in a round number four. The most dominant since the knockdown she had in round number one. When we took a look at tonight's main event, we talk about the sublime defense of Shakur Stevenson. You see the three there. Sugar Ray Leonard, one of the best in the business, fought the best in an era of the 80s and 90s when there were warriors. Pernell Whitaker, Sweet Pea, may he rest in peace. That man, a southpaw who was virtually untouchable. Pernell Whitaker did definitely have the head movement. He had the slipping ability, plus he had a great jab. And then you got Mayweather here, got great feet. The master of distance, and plus, look at that Mayweather Woo. shoulder roll right there. Nothing touching Mayweather here. Clean. Fantastic. And there's a comparison at about this same stage in their careers. Opponents landed more shots on Floyd than they do on Shakur. Look at that percentage as well. Shakur is in elite company <laughs> when you talk about a fighter that just does not get hit. But what happens if you do get hit? How do you respond? That's the How question that Joette is hoping to ask of Shakur Stevenson this evening. And Shakur wants to have that big question mark still there even after tonight in winning a world title. That's right. Oh, big right hand there from Michaela Mayer here in round something. number five. Just a lot show of me that. something go, is go. what Russell Mora tells Zamora here in round number five. Maybe he should have said it in Spanish. That's a lot. That's a lot of leather, leather she's taking, Zamora. And the father's in the corner just sitting still, not doing anything. Yeah, Russell Moore, though, the oh. third man in the ring, has his eyes on Zamora, doesn't want her to take any more Spartalo. punishment. Spartalo. Let her go is what he's saying. Stop! Good. Está bien? Man, she is a warrior. Look at the eyes closed. Hold up. Wait a minute. The eyes close of Mayer right there, and then she extends with the right hand. You know, there's something Sorta about that. Sorta. You know, this is not the, the first time that I've seen libre. Mayer, Manos libre. Stop. Mayer close her eyes as she punched. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let go. No, no detenga. So Carolina Duer asked what her father was telling Zamora. And there is no thought of stopping this. Arriba. They say that Punch Michaela is, is worried Punch about is the power she has on her attack. Wow. <laughs> Whole different perspective than what we're seeing in the ring tonight. Somebody give him glasses, please. Well, that's what we talked about. Sometimes the fathers exactly. are the ones that just cannot see just how much punishment their stop. son, or in this case, their daughter, is taking. 
And Michaela Mayer is putting on an offensive performance this evening. She goes back to her corner. We'll take a listen to Al Mitchell and Kate Roma. Take a deep breath. Now, remember we were talking about going side to side? The jab in the middle. Now, if she's going over here, start leading with the hook. When she goes to your right hand, right hand and hook. When she go over here, hook and right hand. Whatever hand she go in front, side to side, lining with the jab, she Don't going that way, mass. hook and right hand. They both aim here. When she go She's back this way, least. right hand and hook, she go run into it. Fight. You understand okay. what I'm saying? All right, you're doing good. But remember, they dangerous like this. Stay behind your jab. Close the gap up. And bend your legs with them shots. You're doing good. How you feel? A little more faith. Only thing missing from those instructions from Al Mitchell, Mama Jamma. <laughs> That's his famous. That's his famous. You have to show me something, okay? That was fantastic instruction, yes, from Al Mitchell. And a great intervention there from Russell Moore looking over to Alejandra Zamora and saying, show me something. His dad's not going to stop it. He's not thinking of stopping it. He may have to step in and do the job he's paid to do tonight. That's right. Well, I want to talk about this closing eyes thing and punching. <laughs> you know, that's a bad habit, man. I've seen many fighters do it. I mean, it's a natural response. You know, something's coming at your face. You're going to, you know, you're going to blink your eyes, you know. This happens because Michaela knows she's going to get hit. She's close enough. She knows she's going to get hit. It's kind of like an involuntary response now. You know, I've seen it. It's dangerous. Punch you got to be careful because the punch you don't see is the one that hurts you. Stop. Let that go. That is correct. Tonight, maybe Zamora with only one knockout in her 10 professional fights, seven of those wins, does not have that type of power. But if we're talking about the champions in this weight class, Maiva Hamadosh has 17 knockouts in 21 fights. She's the beast in this Stay. weight class, and that type of mistake will be paid Stop. for in Absolutely. Our... All right, Tim, you mentioned the closing of the eyes. You've said that throughout the night. Let's illustrate it. You know what? There, there it is. You know, she understands. There she is, closing her eyes right there. She feels that she's going to get hit with a shot. Now, that's an involuntary reaction from her. You know, I've seen it over and over in her fights. And she has was, to correct that. That was her throwing a punch and feeling that the punch was going to be exactly. coming back at her. Exactly. But it's a Stop. natural Let's response. Go. It's something that we as fighters, we have to, we have to fight. How do it you fight it? I mean, but it happens. I've seen, I man, I've seen my opponents do it, and I've done it too. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice combination punching there from Michaela Mayer. Beautiful Ooh. uppercut, a big right hook in the corner against Zamora. The more about the power of those shots. And the commission is going to take a look at it. Okay, you're doing good. Now, you want to continue like fighting? I don't like it. I don't care. Why are you going to stop it? I'm fine. No, that's it. That's it. It's done. She's done. Come on, Dad. No. No, don't stop it. You're taking too many punches. I'm stopping the fight. I'm stopping this. Why? Come on, I'm fine. It's done. I'm fine, Dad. We can't turn this around. It's over. We can't turn this around. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Thank you. That was the right thing to do. That was the right thing to do. That's exactly how fighters get damaged. You know, it's the accumulation punch of punches, you know, that affect you. You know, they not, might not look like big shots, but over and over and over. That's how, that's how the bleeding starts. I mean, it was heart-wrenching to see the father have to do that, but he absolutely did the right thing. Look at these clean punches landing. Right flush on the chin. I know she's taking them well. Zamora. Then the body shots. Nice short uppercut right there. She takes a yep, closed her eyes again. She hey, she had to embrace a shot. Nice body shot right there from Mayer. Beautiful right hand. Short and tight inside. I like what I saw tonight with Mayer. You know, she put on a great performance tonight. 
She controlled distance when she needed to. She got to the spot where she wanted to be. She used her jab effectively, came behind with the right hand, dug down to the body. These are all the qualities needed to fight at the next level. Michaela Mayer tonight wanted to make a statement. She said, I'm ready to fight for a world title before this fight. And tonight, with this type of performance, putting it all together on display, I think she is ready to fight for a world title. And this young lady, you got to give her all the credit Absolutely. in the world. The heart of a lion, Alejandra Zamora. She did, of course, didn't want this fight to be stopped. But her father and Carolina Duer, her new manager, promoter, did absolutely the right thing. And Lupe Contreras is in the ring with the official time of the stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, upon the conclusion of round number six, the blue corner informs referee Russell Mora their fighter can no longer continue obligating him to stop the contest prior to the beginning of the next round. Declaring the winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated and still NABF super featherweight champion, Michaela Mayer. A statement-making performance for the 29-year-old who improves to 12-0 with five knockouts. Let's, let's take a look at just how dominant a performance it was numbers-wise. I'm just going to take you down to the bottom. 65% of her 226 power punch.